Hey everyone, just wanted to show you this while I'm out here today. And I've got a camera to show you what I'm talking about. So this is something I've known for a while. And I don't, I don't know how many people do know this or not, but... See, so you're looking at a regular flasher screen. That bright yellow that you see just about uh, a little more than six and a half foot. But I'm reading a depth of 8.8 .8 feet. 9.7 just jumping around a little bit just trying to decipher what's bottom and what's not through all the weeds but you can see where it lightens up before it gets to solid bottom and you see the white flickering in and out there if you're able to zoom in on that so you've got it zoomed in over here let me lift my jig up so there you can actually see down inside of there and that puts you just off the bottom fishing down inside of the weeds everything above that is standing weeds that the, that the uh, sonar is picking up so I'll show you here you can barely see it there I'm trying to record a screen with my phone here but you can see my spoon with the wax worms on it there and then there I've got a dead stick minnow I've had a couple small perch come in and scope things out. But nothing's latched on so far. But if you can zoom down in those little areas, zoom in. Like I'm zoomed in pretty, pretty close right now. Almost max zoom on this unit. But you're able to see your lure or jig, whatever, whatever presentation you have down there, you're able to see it down in that gap past the standing weeds. Let me set this down and I'll pan the camera around a little bit so you can see the standing weeds in the area. It's like there's some standing weeds that I'm right next to. There's just standing weeds everywhere and these little standing weeds Sonar is going to pick that up. And you need enough gain to where you can still see your lure or jig, whatever you're using. So in order to get rid of all these weeds, which is a lot more matter, you won't be able to see your lure or jig. So that's why I recommend zooming. Get zoomed in down into your area and I'm going to try and get the camera back in the right spot now. So there you can see my, my minnow just hanging out there. Uh, the, way, the way I'm setting my camera up, since it's just me in the shack, so I've got one hole there with the Mopod and I'm able to see both of these holes. I've got this line tight against the inside and my jig line over here is tight against this side in order to see both of them on the screen. Um, with just me in the shack though I'm able to tighten my holes up a little bit and I've got the heater kicked off over on the side where typically somebody would have their sonar if they're sitting here next to me. So, just wanted to show you that and show you on camera why you're seeing that with all them little dots there. And so like you've got just a standard flasher if you have a zoom. Then, like here, it's not zooming the actual flasher and zoom in here. the other screen because all it all mine zooms is right here now I'm zoomed in quite drastically that is absolute max zoom so 
So use your zoom. It'll help you when you're fishing around weeds. So, thanks for watching. Bye.